Hello people, my name is Ferdy and in this video I will show you how you can create a WordPress website on your own computer, PC, Mac or Linux without spending money on web hosting. So it's a great way to play around with WordPress maybe for the first time without having to invest money. It is free and let me show you what we're going to cover in this tutorial. I will show you how to download local for your Mac, for Windows or for Linux. Then we will create our first website and then you will be able to build a website on your own computer. We will make our website secure. I'll show you how to go live with your local website so others can view your website. How to change the theme of local to dark. I'll show you how to change the extension of your local website. I'll show you how to clean up and adjust new made websites. Then create a blueprint out of it. So when you install a new website, you can use that blueprint. So you don't have to repeat the same steps with every new website you create on local. Finally, I will show you if you want to, how to transfer your website from your computer to a live website using web hosting and a domain name. In the description of this video, I have timestamps. So if you want to go to a certain part in the tutorial, you can click on the timestamp, go directly to that part. If you like what you're seeing so far, and if you like me as a person, even though maybe you don't know me, please like this video. Feel free to subscribe for more upcoming WordPress tutorials or to support me. I like subscribers and then I do my best to provide you with the best WordPress related tutorials. Having said that, let's get started. So in order to get local on your computer or your Mac or PC or Linux, let's go to 30 corpcom forward slash local. Hit enter. And we can download it for free by clicking here or clicking here. We can also create an account. Let's start with not create an account. So we click over here and we can choose our platform. I will choose the Mac, but you can also choose Windows and Linux. Mac. Then we need to fill in a few details. 30 Corpus hook info at 30 Corpus hook.com and my phone number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I'm not kidding. Yes, I am. Click on get it now and you will get it. It's a file that's around 260 megabytes, so it will take a while to download. And when it is downloaded, I click over here. And with a PC, it's a little bit different, but it's pretty straightforward. It's now opening. And now I can drag it to the applications. Now I go to the applications and then close your eyes because I don't want to show you which applications I have over here. Okay, let me click on the L of local. Yes, you can open them again. Only look over here. Double click. And I want to open this. And it says it looks like you don't have any website yet. So let's create our first website. By clicking here and we can call this anything so I can call this my first website then there are advanced options over here you can change the uh, domain which you do over here so if I type something over here it will be added over there you can change the path so you can have a specific folder for your website well I leave it at the default one and we can create a website from a blueprint which I will show you later in the tutorial that means that you can create a website, save it as a blueprint, and then with the next installation, you can use a blueprint and save a lot of time. I think that's an amazing option. I click on continue and I can choose my environment, PHP, NG, INX, MySQL. You can also choose different stuff. If you want to Apache, for instance, different database, I go with the preferred ones. I click on continue. I say 30 corp. I prefer always to use the same um, username because then if I export this website to a live website and my username is root and the password is also root, which is sometimes common when you use a website on your local host, then they can get hacked easily. So I use a normal username. I use a password, which is not root. And my WordPress email info at 30 corpushook.com. And I can have an advanced option. Is this a multi-site? If it is, you can create a subdirectory or a subdomain. What does a subdirectory mean? It means my first website.com or dot local forward slash the website name or a subdomain. It will be your website dot your domain name dot com. Well, I don't use it. I say no and I click on add site. So now everything will be put together for us. We only do the easy stuff. Local is doing all the hard stuff for us. We just have to wait for a minute. 
you need to fill in your password sometimes, your Mac password or your PC password in order to let local do things on your computer. And that's perfectly fine. Okay, so our website is live right now our, on our local host. So if I want to see the website, I click on open site. And there it is. It's not safe. It's called dot local. And here is our website. What I also can do, I can go to the admin. And then I can log in with my details for the corp and then my password. I want them to remember me. I want to be remembered. Log in. And now we have our website on our own computer up and running and we can do anything. We can go to themes. We can click on add new. I can search for the Astra theme or the Bloxy theme. And I can install this now. Activate it. And what you can do, you can go to YouTube, search for 30 Corpus hook and then for instance, WooCommerce. And you can learn step by step how to create a website, but this time you can do it on your own computer without having to buy web hosting. Of course, if you want to go live permanently, then you need web hosting, but now you can practice, see if you like making websites for, and you can learn anything and just practice on your computer. So I click on uh, install Bloxy Companion. Skip this step. Now I want to go to starter sites and I want to go for business. So I click on import. Uncheck this next Elementor next next install. So there it is. I view the site and on my local website, my first website at local, this complete website is over here. So if I go to the about page, I have a different page. So that's really nice. And what I want to show you now, there's so much more we can do. Let me close this, close this, and then go over here. I can make this website secure. So that's what I want to do. How can I do that? I go to my website here at local then SSL. I click on trust. Then I need to fill in the password, of my computer. Okay. Then I want to refresh the page and exactly nothing will change. So I need to go to the back end. Then I scroll down to settings in general. And then over here at WordPress address and site address, I add an S after the P. And now our local website is secure. I need to log in again. And now if I go to the front end, our website is secure. So what is next? Let me go to the settings over here. Uh, I can go to the overview. I see the domain of the site. I can change it. I can add SSL. I can change the web server, PHP version. So maybe you have a certain plugin and you want to see if it's working on a different version of PHP. Or you can do that. I personally, I never use this. I always, everything works with Name Hero and with SiteGround, the web hosters I use. And the one click admin, that means that you don't have to fill in details in order to log in. So I like to enable that with FerdyCorp. So that means I just click on admin and I don't have to log in with my details and that will save me a step. Yes. Okay. Then I can go to the database. I can see all the database files over here. And as you see, it totally makes sense. All those things over here. You can export and import stuff. Well, I, I do not use this a lot anymore because these days uh, a lot of things are automated. So I don't go there a lot. You can use an external program to download the database, but I have a better tool for that and it's free. What I want to do, I want to go to tools. You have Milhawk and live links. And if you want to use live links, you need to log in. So what is a live link? That means that I can share this local website on my computer live with a client or with someone else like, Hey, this is what I've made. What do you think of it? So in order to get access to that, we need to log in. And if we cannot log in, we need to register by creating an account over here. So my first name, my last name, my email address, create a password, confirm the password, 
I scroll down and I want to create my account. I need to check my email. So that's what I will do. And there it is. I need to verify my email address. Now I can log in with my email address. So there it is. Now it says live link enabled. So if I click over here, I can go live with this website in order to let people get access. They can fill in the, these details over here, but I can also click over here, copy the link and log in. And now I can send this to one or I can share it on my notes, for instance, and I paste it here. I close it and now I go to my iPad. I click on the link, I log in. And now I can see the website on a different device. And in that way you can share your website with everybody in the world that you want. The only thing you need to do, you need to keep your computer up and running and you need to keep your live link active over here. And what I see right now is, Hey friends, real creative themes, a modern digital agency based in Moldova. And then you see something that's made in London, as far as I know. And again, if I go to the website, it says, Hi friends, real creative themes, a modern digital agency in Moldova. So, I think this is amazing for a free website. I would um, turn this off when you're finished, but that's what you can do. So let's go to the settings over here, local preferences and the theme. I like it to be dark. And if I click on apply, it becomes dark magic sync. I leave it as it is default apps, terminal app. Perfect. And the browser I use Chrome, you can use something else. And then if you open a website, it will open in the browser you've chosen over here. New site defaults. Well, this is really interesting. I prefer my preferred environment. So not that I need to customize it. I like to use the preferred one. Uh, my admin email by default, it is info at 30 corpus hook. And also a nice thing, since I make tutorials, I can make this .com. So every website I create is a with a .com suffix. And I can change the site path, but it's fine. Apply. We can export websites, but I, I use a different tool for that. We have advanced options. I leave it as this and we have blueprints. So let me talk about blueprints. Before we do that, I want to create a new website and look how it looks. Blueprint. That's how I call this. Continue. Preferred. Username. Password. At the site, my Mac password. Then I want to add CSS from the beginning on. Okay, I want to go to the admin. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. If I turn this on for the corp, I go to a different one and I go back. Now, if I click on admin, I'm logged in automatically. It's not secure. As I said before, you need to go to settings general, add an S and add an S. So what I do by default, I always do the same things in order to make my website clean before I start my tutorial or start my website. So if I do those steps for this website and I save it as a blueprint, I don't have to do the steps with all the new websites I will make using local. Let me show you how. So I will fast forward what I do. I will change a few things and then I will be back with you. So now my website is cleaned up. I'm ready to start with my website. If I go to the front end, it looks like this. If I go to the back end, it looks like this. So what I can do, I can close this, close this, close this and close this. And now if I click over here, my first website, I do a right mouse click on blueprint and I save it as a blueprint. I call this one start from scratch, save the blueprint. It's compressing all the files. Awesome. So now I want to create a third website. And the great thing is there's no limit with uh, other tools. ServerPress, for instance, you have a maximum of three domains. Here it is unlimited. So I call this one my new website. Then I go to advanced options and I want to use with start from scratch. There it goes. I don't have to fill in all the other details.
Okay, now it's trusted. I turn this on for the corpus hook. Let's see if I need to go to a different website or not. So now if I click over here, I have my new website.com. It is in the same state as I left my latest website, the blueprint website. So there are no pages, there are no plugins. There's only one thing and it is true. So if I go to pages, there are no pages, there are no posts, there are no plugins and there's only one theme. And my name over here is for the corpus hook title site title. And now I can start immediately from this point on. I don't have to repeat all the steps every time. So that's what I'm really happy with. And now I want to show you how to export your website. If it is finished, I go to the first website. I go to the admin. And now if I open this in a new tab, I'm talking about this website over here. And now I go to plugins, add new. I search for all in one WP migration. I click on install now. Activate. Then I go to all in one WP migration over here, export. Export to file. And I download the whole website. This is everything. So also the databases, everything. So now I can go to webhostingfk.com. Hit enter. And you can get your own domain and web hosting. If you have it already, that's great. If you don't have it, you can choose one of the packages. If you want to know more about that, go to YouTube. Search for name hero tutorial. And mine should appear over here. And I show you everything there is to know about Name Hero. In my opinion, the best web hosting provider. So I will log in. WordPress. I want to install a new WordPress website. Install. And that will be on FertiCorp tutorial. Local Pro. Hello. Why not? This is all fine. You know what? Pretty corp. Check, copy the password. Install. Okay, then I go to the back end at 30 corp tutorial forward slash local pro hello WP admin. Now I can go to plugins, add new. And if you want to, you can clean, can clean up the website first. All in one WP migration. I get a confirmation that I installed a new website. I install all in one WP migration, activate it. Then I go to all in one WP migration, click on import or import, <laughs> drag this over here. Okay. I click on proceed and finish. Now I go to the settings. Permalinks, then I need to log in probably. 30 corp password that I've chosen on, on the local program, not just over here. So the uh, password I use on this website. Okay, I save the permalinks twice. So here a post name, save the changes and do it another time. And if you're like, I'm such a good mood, then you can even do it a third time. And then if I go to the website, look at this, this is exactly the same website we had over here. And that's ladies and gentlemen, how you can export and import complete websites. Command zero, command zero. If you can see the difference, it's impossible. So I think that wraps it up. We've covered a lot of things. In my opinion, the most necessary things. This is all I use. I don't use add-ons because there are add-ons over here. We can click local sites. We can click over here and connect. You can connect it with WP engine. I think that's the reason they made it free because they want to show you how you can get web hosting and WP engine. Here are add-ons. You can use the image optimizer and then your images will be optimized. You can take a look over here. I don't use this, but um, 
hey, it's a possibility. And when you log in, you see a beautiful image over here. And this image is linked with Gravatar. So if you have a Gravatar account that's linked to your email address and you use that email address to log in over here, you will see that image and that makes it a little bit more happy because then you can see yourself. And, oh, how great is that? No. Okay. So if you quit it, command Q and you refresh the page, it is gone. But then you search for local again. And all the websites are turned off and you can choose which website you want to turn on. That's a little bit weird to say, turning a website on. Okay. Whatever. So it's uh, on. I click on admin and there I am again and it is working. So that's how easy it is to use local on your own computer, on your PC or a Linux computer, as long as you can call that a computer. And then if you're ready, you can export it to your live website. So I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a ton of stuff. Feel free to like this video and subscribe for more upcoming WordPress related tutorials. If you have any feedback, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best at least to read them. And I will also do my best to answer them. And then I hope you will have a great day and that you will also have a great day tomorrow and the rest of the week and the rest of the year and the rest of your life. So now I covered everything and the afterlife, but that, I think there will be no problem. Okay, whatever. Bye-bye.